This is a GE uh, J31. This is an example of a centrifugal flow compressor. So you can see the air comes in and here is essentially thrown out of this balut, which is what it's called, into the combustor uh, and then it has to go all the way back to the end of the combustor and come back and go out of the single stage turbine. This is a um, turbojet, very heavy, relatively low power, low thrust. But this is an example of what the early Whittle engine, early GE engine, Frank Whittle, the inventor of the turbojet, uh, along with the Ohain, uh, would have looked like. Okay. And you can also see the other thing about it is, what's when you look at it from the front, what do you see? Large frontal what? Yeah, area. Area. So centrifugal machinery used for smaller high-powered applications like helicopters, typically in these days not used for jet engines because of the large um, frontal area. Whereas an axial flow machine, you get smaller frontal area and uh, multi-stage compressors. So. Okay. Anyway.